All right, guys, this is what IS41 deals with. IS41 tells you how to measure your cows and goats and hens and bars and sheep and trees. It also tells you how to measure your milk and eggs and fruit and oats and leaves and ooze and veggies. So accountants, after watching this video, you will completely understand how to measure all those items. So let's get started. First off, let's talk about some of the key definitions. First off, we need to know what is agricultural activity. Agricultural activity is the management of biological transformation such as biological growth of a biological asset may be for the purpose of sale of that particular asset. Or, agricultural activity can be management of biological transformation of a biological asset for the purpose of creating additional biological assets. Or, agricultural activity can be the management of biological transformation of a biological asset for the purpose of harvesting agricultural produce from that asset. So, agricultural activity is the management of biological transformation of a biological asset for the purpose of sale, for the purpose of creating additional assets, for the purpose of harvesting agricultural produce from that asset. Now, you may ask that what is a biological asset? Glad that you asked. Biological assets are living plants and animals. It will include all kind of animals like sheep and donkeys and cows and goats. It includes trees and plants and fishes and chickens and birds and other living things. Now there you need to understand sometimes trees are physically attached to a particular piece of land you need to know that the tree is a biological asset and the land is not a biological asset. The next thing that you need to understand is what is an agricultural produce. An agricultural produce is the harvested produce from a biological asset, such as milk, meat, eggs, etc. And what is a harvest? Harvest is the process of detachment of produce from a biological asset or the end of the biological asset's life. You take out milk from this cow, that process is harvest. Right, all right, we will do that later. Biological transformation. We can have growth, degeneration, reproduction, procreation, and production. These biological transformations create qualitative or quantitative changes in a biological asset. Now guys, let's talk about the classes of biological assets. Under biological assets, we have animals. Oh yeah. Then we have plant. Well, how to recognize biological asset? We have three conditions and all of those three conditions must be fulfilled before you can recognize biological asset. Number one condition, entity controls the asset as a result of past event. Say, you have purchased the cow and so you can now control the cow. The cow has given birth to a baby calf. You control the cow means you now control the baby calf. So the condition one is fulfilled. Our next condition, there is probable future inflow of economic benefit. Means maybe you can sell this cow, you can consume this cow, or you can be an agricultural produce using this cow. And number three, the fair value or cost of the asset is reliably measurable. If you cannot reliably measurable a cost or fair value, how can you recognize it? You need to show a value. You cannot do that if you cannot measure it. Now let's talk about how to measure biological asset. Biological assets are measured at fair value less cost to sales. Means you need to obtain market price. That is fair value. Go to the market and check the price and also 
If you want to sell this biological asset, maybe there is some transportation cost. You need to take the asset to the market and also you need to pay some commission. Deduct those carriage out and commission from the market price and you get fair value less cost to sales. And any gain or loss on initial recognition is presented in profit or loss. Similarly, any gain or loss from changes in fair value less cost to sales subsequently will be presented in profit or loss. So we have talked about agricultural produce a lot. Now let's check how to measure agricultural produce. Well, at the point of harvest, agricultural produce is measured at fair value less cost to a sell. And any gain or loss on initial recognition is presented in POL as like biological asset. Remember, fair value less cost to sell. Well, and after initial measurement, this agricultural produce will be transferred to inventory and then IS2 principles will be applied. And IS2 also requires inventory to have a cost, so the fair value less cost to sell of the agricultural produce should be considered as deemed cost of that inventory.